What's going on everybody? Classic Game Freak here, and uh, this time I decided to do a little bit more of a, a laid back and lazy setting. Only reason is I didn't get the lighting right on my green screen on the video I did make, and it looked like crap. So keying it would have been next to impossible. So this is the lazy version of that video. And when I say lazy, I mean lazy. Yeah, I could be up on the futon, but I've got my lazy boy back here chilling out being lazy himself. So today I did a game chase and I'm really glad that I did because I found a couple of good gems for pretty cheap. I've got a box right here of a few games so let's uh, check it out. Sorry about my messy game room here in the background but uh, that's how it goes. That's what I should call this segment the messy game room. That'd be funny. So, first off, I'm gonna start with kind of the fillers. So, let me see what we got here for fillers. That one was kind of a filler. Yeah, okay. First off, since I had the first one, I thought, why not get the second one? It was readily available, it was there, and it was two bucks. And that's Vector Man 2. And uh, actually, I've never played this. Um, I don't know why I've never played this. I played the heck out of the first one when it first came out. Vector Man 2, two, two dollars, not bad. Next up, it had the manual with it. So a manual in the game, can't help it. That was Gorilla War. There you go, so you can see it a little bit better. Pretty glossy actually. That's like new. So, had the manual, had the slip cover, had the dust cover, so that was awesome. And then this one also had the manual. It's not a good game, but when you're collecting the entire, trying to collect the entire collection on a system, and you see a game with its manual, you go, okay, fine. Highlight. Not a good game. Not a good game, but uh, it's in my collection now, so I don't have to worry about buying it again. This one, uh, I saw it out there, and it was boxed. It's incomplete, doesn't have the manual, unfortunately, but um, I'm glad to have it. And uh, that's the six-pack on the Sega Genesis, obviously. And, uh, yeah, incomplete, unfortunately. So... But that's all right. I've been uh, wanting to play some Streets of Rage again, so got that on there. That's awesome. Got it for three dollars, so that wasn't bad. A little bit bigger pickups. This one, uh, it's getting rare, but you know, it it it's not super rare. You can still get it for fairly cheap. This is the first time I've actually seen it in the wild, so I picked it up, and that was Booger Man. The pick and flick adventure. <laughs> so, um, happy to have that. That was a fun game. Any kid, you know, had this. <laughs> it's Booger Man. So, these are my top three. Okay, and I'm gonna go from least to best, in my opinion, as far as these go. So, first off, uh, Mega Man, uh, Mega Man X on the Super Nintendo. Got that for $8. There's a little story behind it. They had the box up there, but she said that the box was only for, uh, for display purposes. And I was a little bummed about that. So I talked with her a little bit, told her my dislike on that. And she... I actually came down. Game Changers is really cool. Uh, they, she came down to $8 when it was $14. So, $8, Mega Man X. Can't beat that. Then. Well, yeah, you can beat it, but, you know, that's a good price. So, yeah, of course I'm going to pay for that. There's a story with this one here. There is a story with this one. Long story short. The game traders I was in with this big guy. I'm talking massive, like Jabba the Hutt. 
and that's not being disrespectful or anything like that. I'm just saying this guy was big, pissed himself, and wasn't like, oh, hey, I'm sorry, I pissed myself. No, he tried to kind of do, I guess, secretly and walked out before anybody realized it until he started smelling piss. It was bad. So needless to say, the lady there was kind of freaking out about it. She picked up a can of vanilla scented air spray, started spraying the whole store down. Customers started coming in. She was afraid they were going to start slipping. So I said, hey, look, being the nice guy I am, hand me a mop. Got a mop. I mopped for her. This was $15. She knocked it down to five for that. Boom. Mega Man 2. And I think I have Mega Man 4. The other game traders had Mega Man 3. I need to go back and get that. I need to start finishing up my Mega Man collection. So, um, Mega Man 2. I was gonna, I was gonna see if I could deal for it for 15 and lower it, but she, she was like, well, you know, you helped me out so much. Five dollars. That's what you do to get the deals, dang. She's starting to remember me whenever I come in. Uh, she's like, you're in here almost every weekend now. I was like, yup. <laughs> so. And last, but definitely not least, I think this was the biggest find for me of the day. And yes, it's actually over Mega Man X and Mega Man 2. The first game traders I went into started looking over the Nintendo games, and then I got to the Super Nintendo games. And you know that games are usually stacked like that, and I'm hoping you can't read that yet because it'll kind of ruin the surprise. But <clears throat> I was looking through, just kind of looking down, and it I just stopped. Because I saw this name gleaming back at me and I thought, there is no way they can be cheap. Now, normally at Game Traders, they will sell a game that are on the rack for $3.95. I saw this gleaming back at me and I thought, there's no way this is going to be $3.95. So I take it and I look and $3.95. I couldn't believe it. This was my deal of the day. Contra 3, The Alien Wars on the Super Nintendo with a little bit of label damage. That's it. <laughs> I was so excited to pick this up because I've been after this game. I used to own it on, you know, back when I was about 15. And I regret trading it off. I, I, I traded it in traded this and like Super Metroid and a bunch of games like that in for a Sega Saturn at the time. And uh, I regretted that. So now I have that back. So happy. Uh, I've tested it, cleaned it, and uh, here in a bit it's going to be me, a beer, and this game on the hardest difficulty to try to beat it. I've done it once before, Let's see if I can do it again. So anyway, that's all I really have to say for now. Thank you very much for the PMs as far as the trades go. I think I've gotten Conker's Bad Fur Day down to two different offers. They're big offers. They're very big offers. And I'm not going to disclose who they're from or what it is, yet there is a couple people that are probably seeing this who know because I have told a couple different people. But. I'm waiting to find out. I'm I'm thinking because, you know, I know some people want this. I know there's a couple, but somebody offered like their gem game for it, and I don't I don't want to take somebody's you know like prized game for you know a copy of Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Um, but if he's like, hey, you know, Conquer's Bad Fur Day would be the star of my collection. I would really love it. Then then okay, great. You know that that would be cool. But. So I'm still mulling that over. Uh, I still have the Shadow Gate, still have Robocop, still have Super Punch Out. Uh, I'm not sure. I might have traded off the uh, Shining Force uh, and a copy of the Dead Island. I'm still getting info on that. But that's pretty much it. So um, 
Thank you for the PMs. Thanks for the great responses. I really appreciate it, everybody. Uh, also, next weekend, I've got another chase coming up, and it's going to be an actual chase video. I don't know when it'll get posted. It will definitely be after Saturday because my buddy and I are going Saturday. Uh, I don't know if we're going to edit it until... I, I don't even think he's going to have any part in editing it. I just don't know yet. So it might just be me editing it. We might edit it together and get it posted Saturday night, Sunday morning. We'll find out. So thank you for watching. I've got the reviews coming up here soon. I want to make sure those are perfect before I get them posted on here. There are going to be a lot of NES reviews. There's going to be Super NES, Genesis reviews, PS1, uh, things like that. So um, it isn't just going to be strictly retro games. So look forward to that. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Time to go and play some of these games. So, uh, I'll see y'all soon. Cheers.